If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. I just want to know who was bored enough in a life to go back to 08, which more than likely some of the people who are agreeing to cancel this movie, was they weren't even really around. They, they weren't even really doing that. They were probably getting pushed in strollers or whatever it was. Um, they probably weren't even able to see the movie. Um, it was satire. That That's clear cut what the movie is. It was satire. It played on a lot of different things. Um, it also played directly on one thing which they blatantly stated, right? The uh, the rapper that was their Al Pacino. He was a rapper, but he also was gay, right? So you had this black guy that is a rapper who portrayed himself as a heterosexual man. But behind all of that, he was you know, uh, uh, thinking about a guy by the name of Lance. And that technically came out in one of the scenes, you know, there in Robert Downey Jr.'s character. <laughs> he was like, yo, man, it's so it's, it's OK, man. You know, uh, everybody's gay, you know, every once in a while, you know, it's Hollywood. Right. He told you something. Two things were basically stated directly in that one scene that are true. And Al Pacino also made pushback. He was like, man, I ain't gay. He was like, you know, I'm Al Pacino. I love the women. You know, I'm about the women. Right? And like I said, things <laughs> things in that movie were, were being stated and people didn't catch on to it. That's the, you know, that's the funny thing about uh, a lot of these movies. Right? They'll give you a little bit of truth. They'll, they'll, they'll put some things directly you know, in there, but it's like, will people actually listen? Right. And then you got Robert Downey Jr.'s character here, you know, supposed to be the black guy, but he is white as snow. He a dude playing the dude dressed as another dude. <laughs> For me, like I said, I, when I first saw the movie, I found it funny. I was sitting up there laughing. I think I I, I should have saw, I think I saw it in theaters with, uh, with my friends. Like, I think we, you know, we were sitting up there having, uh, like a funny time or whatnot, and uh, we were we were sitting up there like laughing at the film and everything. Um, and I still find the film funny. Like I said, it's the difference when things are done in a sense, in a tasteful way. I guess you could sit up there and say, or or in a way where it's not um, deemed as it's not a negative. It's not the word that I'm looking for, but you know, it, it's, it's done in a way where you're not offended. At no point in time through the film was I offended. Like I said, I understood. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr., white guy. He is in blackface. His character, he's an actor playing an actor, playing another guy. <laughs> Just as another guy. Like, you know, like I said before, it's like I didn't find it offensive. And then you had Al Pacino and Robert Downey Jr.'s character. They were both, you know, having like their thing because Robert Downey Jr. was really a method actor. And well, the character he was playing was a method actor. So whatever um, role he went into, he went into that role literally 100 percent thinking that he was that character. So when he would talk to Al Pacino's character, right, the rapper, <laughs> uh he would sit up there and talk to him as if he's black. He would go to an extent, but he wouldn't go the full extent. Right? But you had Al Pacino's character, because he is black, he would go to that full extent. And then that goes into the whole aspect that Robert Downey Jr. was telling uh, Ben Stiller's character. He was like, you know, you don't uh, go go fully beyond when you're a certain type of character that's that's disabled because Ben Stiller's character was, you know, a, a full on mentally disabled character. He went full on with that character. He was telling him like, yo, you don't you don't go full. You go you go half. 
You might go part. You don't go full. And he was listing a lot of the characters that other actors have played that portrayed that, but they didn't go full on. He listed like Forrest Gump. He listed Brain Man and all these other type of characters. They had some stuff there, but it wasn't full on, right? But Ben Stiller's character went full on. So, and, and, and when you sit up and look at those, he was full on. He was, <laughs> he was there. Um, so now, you know, you got a whole bunch of people trying to cancel Tropic Thunder. And, I, and I'm like, where do y'all even come from? So when this came out in 08, y'all wasn't saying nothing. 09, not saying nothing. 010, nothing. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Y'all ain't say nothing. But now it comes into 2023 because you're oh so bored. Now you want to try to cancel Tropic. I'm not on this bandwagon. I'm not with it. If if other people are directly with it, a you know to to each is their own. Um, like I said, I found it as comedy. Uh, one thing that I do agree with, uh, Dave Chappelle basically stated is that the uh the point in time that we're at in the world is so soft that you can't even actually do comedy. Like people are literally going to comedy shows just to find a reason to be offended. And I'm like, that don't even make any sense. Comedy is subjective. Yeah. Some people find it funny. Some people don't, but it is what it is. Um, comedy is meant to, you know, push the envelope. It's, it's, it's meant to go a little bit overboard or over the line. You know, it's, it's, it's meant to find, you know, a lot of that, that type of, you know, stuff there. It's meant to touch on topics that a lot of people just don't want to happen to talk about. But it's a comedian's job to figure out if they got the tools necessary in order to talk about this topic and make it funny at the same time, or at least try to. And this was fun to me. Like I said, I found it as a very funny thing. Like I said, sue me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know, um, you know, what else to tell people. I really don't. I really don't. But like I said, if Robert Downey Jr. never did, in a sense, blackface in his film, would people be talking about canceling Tropic Thunder? Nope. They wouldn't be saying nothing. But it's only because of this. It ain't because of nothing else in the film. There there was other things in the film that were taking place. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, y'all went there. I'm like, oh, man. Like I said, uh, Robert Downey Jr. and, uh, and Tobey Maguire in that, uh, in that movie trailer? Ah oh, man, I was I'm like, wow, y'all really went there. I'm like, it's that 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 stuff is real. But I'm like, wow, y'all really went there. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, ah, it's it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like I said, they did they did some satire too. Uh, ben Stiller did a what's the name talking about uh Tom Cruise in a sense. <laughs> Where his character was like there to save the world like 18 different times in <laughs> different movies, but this time it's different. Like I said, it was it was satire. The movie was like it was all over the place. It was meant to, um, in a sense, be offensive and funny, you know, directly at the same time. And um, like I said, I felt like Tropic Thunder did what it was supposed to sit up there and do. For me, it just made me laugh. Again, I ain't find nothing offensive, but I'm not, you know, representative of all black people. That's just my opinion. Some black people might be like, man, no, I can't get down with this. And, you know, da, 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 da. I can't look at Robert Downey Jr. Same, you know, you know, after he did that, I can't watch no more of his film. You know, like I said, everybody's different. It is what it is. If people, you know, in a sense, feel that way and, you know, that's that's how it is. But you want to sit up there and try to cancel a movie all the way from like, oh, eight. We're in 2023. We got literally. Literally, we we just had what is it, East Palestine, Ohio? We had all of that happen, and people are talking about a movie from 08. I don't know where we're at right now. Like I said, where where was this energy when the movie came out? I didn't hear this. I did not hear none of this static when the movie came out. I ain't hear none of this. Like I said, I'm I'm completely amazed. Whoever started this, you're stupid. You are a thousand percent stupid. Thousand percent stupid. Like this out of all of the world problems that we got going on right now. This is the thing that's the biggest threat. This is the thing that is that is harming humanity. This is the thing that really needs to get, you know, talked about. Man, like I said, I don't, I don't know who these people. Y'all some suckers. Uh, I, I don't know. The, the, I don't know what to tell you. 
I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all some straight suckers. Like that's 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 ridiculous. So many more things that people need to be worried about directly out here, and this is it. Like I said, it is what it is.